Child protection is the protection of children from violence, exploitation, abuse and neglect. Safeguarding is a word used to encourage protecting the health, well-being and human rights of individuals, which allow people, especially children, young people and vulnerable adults to live free from abuse, harm and neglect. There are quite a few pieces of legislation relating to what is acceptable behaviour including the Children's Act of 1989. At ABC Taxis, we care passionately about this as often parents, guardians and carers trust us to give a professional service to children, young people and vulnerable adults so we must demonstrate the highest standards even when difficult or sensitive issues arise. That is why we have made this film to give everyone guidance about what to do in various situations. We take child protection and safeguarding issues very seriously as it's an important part of the ABC way. We must make sure that all our customers are treated respectfully. Full details are outlined in our child protection and safeguarding policy and you should always contact your line manager if you are unsure on what to do in any difficult or sensitive situation. Just to remind you of the definitions of children, young people and vulnerable adults, children are defined as those under the age of 16, young people are aged under 18, and vulnerable adults include the elderly, people with disabilities, people in residential accommodation and those receiving care in their home. Nelson's Journey works with hundreds of bereaved children across the county. We frequently have a need to transport unaccompanied children in our care, either to or from our events, and we need to have full confidence that children will be transported in line with our own safeguarding standards. We trust ABC Taxis because they've demonstrated to us over many years the importance that they give to safeguarding issues including by getting in contact with us immediately if there is any uncertainty around a journey, such as a child suggesting to a driver a different destination to the one we've provided. As we're working with children in emotionally challenging situations, it's also important to us that drivers maintain a professional approach and we know that ABC Taxis will choose drivers for our journeys that can respond appropriately to children when they're distressed. We conduct a risk assessment for a journey for a child, young person or vulnerable adult. We consider the age of the child. Children under three years should use an appropriate child restraint in the rear of the vehicle. If no child car seat is available, they can travel on an adult's lap in the rear of a licensed private hire vehicle, taxi or minicab. Generally speaking, at ABC Taxis, children under 12 should not sit in the front seat. Therefore, we need to check the ages of the children if we have a request to pick up four children. A key point is that the driver must not fit a car seat into the car. It must be the customer as they are responsible of making sure it is secure. We also consider which drivers are particularly good with sensitive or distressed children. You should avoid unnecessary physical contact and avoid building a close personal relationship with a child, young person or vulnerable adult. You should also make sure that all your comments and conversations are professional, respectful and appropriate as seen in the ABC Taxi's Managing Diversity film. As the business manager of the Norfolk Safeguarding Children Board, it is my role to make sure that I and my team work with organisations and families across Norfolk to make sure that all children are safe at all times. Regarding the service that ABC Taxi does, the most important thing to remember is to look out for indicators of child exploitation. What marks out exploitation is an imbalance of power within the relationship, and it's important to recognize this. For example, if a child or a young person is accompanied by someone who is making them do things they might not want to do, like having sex, doing drugs, or taking risks that will put them in danger. Children who have been abused have told us that all they really need is safety and nice adults. If a child, young person or vulnerable adult complains to you about your behaviour, then you should report this immediately to a director or manager so they can investigate what has happened. An important point to consider when giving a service to a child, 
young person or vulnerable adult is that the contract will usually be with the person or organisation that booked the taxi. Therefore, the legal requirement is to take the child, young person or vulnerable adult to the destination that has been booked, even if they ask to go somewhere else. If your passenger makes it clear that they wish to go to an address different from what has been booked, you must ask the controller to check with the person who booked the taxi that this is okay. You should explain to the passenger what you are doing and why this is important for their safety. So what types of things can go wrong? You are collecting a child you don't know from school. Do you A. Let the child get into the car and drive away. B. Check their name against your details. Or C. Check their name and destination against your records. The correct approach is C. Check their name and destination against your details and check with your controller if the information does not match. You are taking a child on a regular journey to a regular destination. They tell you the venue has been changed for today and ask you to take them somewhere else. Do you A. Tell them you have to take them to the destination that has been booked. B. Query the details with your controller who may need to contact the person who booked the journey to check the details are correct. Or C. Trust that the child is correct and take them to their requested destination. The correct approach is B. Query the details with your controller who may need to contact the person who booked the journey to check the details are correct. You are collecting a child or young person and they tell you that they wish to go to their friend's house rather than the pre-booked destination. Do you A. Ask them questions about why they want to go to a different place other than has been booked for them and if it sounds sensible, take them there. B. Automatically trust what they're saying, take a flexible approach and take them to their friend's house instead. Or C. Explain that you will need to check with your controller before taking them anywhere. The correct approach is C. Explain that you will need to check with your controller before taking them anywhere. The controller may need to contact the person who made the booking to approve the change in destination and any difference in cost. There are three other things to consider. Firstly, when collecting a child, young person or vulnerable adult from school or other organisation, you should park, take your identity card and go into the building to collect the person. On some occasions, the organisation may ask you to sign paperwork to show that you have collected the person. Secondly, make sure that you have the directions to the house or destination. Do not ask the child, young person or vulnerable adult as they can find this stressful and you are seen to be the responsible adult who should know how to get there. Thirdly, when dropping off a child, young person or vulnerable adult, you must make sure that the person goes into the right house safely before you drive away. One of the other things we can do is to be the eyes and ears. If you suspect a child is being abused or you have suspicions, then you should report this to your line manager. They can then liaise with the team at the Norfolk Safeguarding Children Board. You should report any issues to your line manager, even if someone tells you something in confidence. The Multi-Agency Safeguarding Hub, or the MASH, brings professionals together to share information to safeguard children, young people and vulnerable adults more effectively. Within the MASH, information from different agencies is used to decide what action to take. The MASH is best placed to carry out the risk screening process. 
we need all concerned adults, including ABC taxi drivers, to provide as much information as possible to the MASH to assist with risk assessments. We know that child exploitation can and does happen in Norfolk. Information about the MASH is available on the Norfolk Safeguarding Children Board website, or you can phone the MASH directly. However, if you think at any point a child is in immediate danger, phone the police straight away. We all want to work together to make sure that all our customers have a safe and comfortable journey. If you have any ideas about how we can improve our child protection and safeguarding procedures, or you have any specific concerns about any sensitive issues, please discuss these with your line manager.